Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lolo Beauty. And before we get started, I just want to say everything in this video is alleged. Y'all, I don't know why this story of domestic violence incident really just shakes me the wrong way. But it literally just shakes me the wrong way. Because I was such an advocate for Artem and Nikki. I literally love Nikki Bella. And when she found Artem, I really felt like that it was it i felt like he was so nice so sweet um he treated her great especially coming out of their relationship with john cena because we all know how much nikki was in love with john cena but it was just something in that relationship that just was not okay we all watched the reality show and seen so many incidents of how john cena was with nikki bella and we all kind of wanted a little more for her um and when she finally got it, we was like, wow, this is her happy ending. She deserves someone that's going to love her, give her a baby, want to marry her without it being forced or, you know, sacrificed. And I feel like she found that in Artem. And, and even though their relationship was rushed, the pregnancy was like a pop-up pregnancy like they weren't expecting it artem proposed and we seen that she really wasn't ready but she just loved him and so they went ahead and got married they got mateo everything's going okay it's going good but we do hear on the podcast quite often that her and artem's relationship hasn't always been flowers and roses that they were um hiccups in their re relationship and that's not unusual so every time i would listen to her talk about how they went to couples therapy and how they had to learn how to you know speak to each other and you know keep the relationship in a good standstill it almost just didn't ring any bells to me of a problem only because in our own relationships, in every relationship, it's a struggle and it's work. And you have to constantly work at your relationship no matter who you are. No relationship is perfect. So I never judged that when she would speak on their relationship on the podcast. And um, it's just unfortunate now that we see that it's a domestic violence case and Artem actually got arrested and got booked in jail for it. And even though we heard the, the call that was saying that Artem said that Nikki threw a shoe at him, we have to not, we have to be mindful of how we respond to things because we, we never know why Nikki Bella threw the shoe. We don't know who started it. We don't know what, what happened, but either way, you don't put your hands on a woman. You know what I'm saying? And um, I was reading the police, what the police was saying, and they said they usually don't arrest a person without evidence that it was DV going on. So when they went to that scene, it had to be something going on for them to arrest Artem is all I'm saying. I don't know what happened. I don't know what it was. But for him to go to jail, they had to see something uncomfortable or something that wasn't right. Um, and what made Nikki throw that shoe at him? A lot of people was like, oh, she's a wine. No, she probably had a little too much wine. Um... Even if she threw a shoe at him, I don't see it going to the point of someone's going to jail. Uh, that sounds like physical altercation, you know, like to me, but you never know. We don't know what goes on behind closed doors and you never really know a person the way you think you know them. Like I would never in a million years think this would be the situation with Artem and Nikki, but guess what? It is. And unfortunately it is. And it's just like, damn, like, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. When problems start happening like this, it ain't no couples therapy. You just go ahead and you go your way and I go my way. But what's unfortunate is this whole thing right here can kill his entire career. Not Nikki Bella's career, but Artem's career. And we know how much he loves dancing. We know how much, you know, um, that means to him and so i just pray that this situation isn't what we all think it is 
Um, but I don't, you know, it is what it is. Well, you know, I hope that it doesn't do in, too much damage to his career. But usually things like this, when it's on the man's side, as it should be, the career kind of dies down and no one wants to work with you. And no one wants that image of, you know, domestic violence, like on their roster. So I just hope that this doesn't affect him too badly but hey if he is a a woman beater whatever's gonna happen to him is gonna happen to him there is no one can save him from that and he would definitely need to work on himself or it could be the other way around it could just be a a, a big mistake we all know that nikki said that she just want privacy in this time so she just want privacy for her and her family um but hey I just pray for everybody involved. I pray for Bree, Nikki, everyone, because as a family, this has to be hard. And for Mateo, it has to just be heartbreaking. But if the relationship was truly that toxic, then it had to come to a point, no matter what. And you just got to leave. When it's time to leave and you put it off and you put it off or it's time to get help or you don't see those red flags and you try to ignore them, over time, eventually, something like this will happen in your relationship that make you make a choice. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it was probably red flags, red flags, and they were probably ignoring them. Uh, we are family with Mateo, just sweeping, sweeping them under the rug, you know. And guess what? It probably came to a point where you can't do that anymore because whatever's done in the dark will eventually come to the light. If you have a toxic relationship in the dark, it will come to the light. If you're hiding things from your, from your family, your friends, your fans, that is embarrassing. That's not even embarrassing. That is em like emotionally hard to go through and just, and just awful. It will come to the light. It will. Things always have a way of revealing itself but y'all let me know what y'all think in the um comment section and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i love the comment so let me know what y'all think of this situation are y'all disappointed i am disappointed because we just knew that nikki was doing well after ending that engagement with um john cena so it's just unfortunate that it's here but y'all let me know what y'all think because i really want to hear y'all um opinions down below but this one shook me this story is just unbelievable